theories. Okay, what do you mean by learning theories? Uh, like, first one is the learning theories are the abstract frameworks that describes how knowledge is received and processed during the learning experience. This is the first one. Second one is learning theories informs the application of instructional design through models. What exactly you will understand from these words. The learning theories are the abstract frameworks that describes how knowledge is received and processed during the learning process. Means there should be a theories that has to be followed whenever I go for the learning. Okay. Now, these will be a, like abstract or some structured framework. How I receive the knowledge from the, the provider during my learning and how I am going to process that. So I have to follow the one means right now we are discussing how you are receiving that knowledge, how you are processing that knowledge and how you are going to learn throughout your learning experience, during your learning experience. This theory has to be followed. Okay. Means it is a framework or it's a structure where we understand how knowledge has to be passed, how you will going to, how the person is going to extract that knowledge. Understanding? Very simple work, uh, uh, simple uh, words, I'll say that. It is nothing but receiver and a provider. How I will receive, how I will provide. It focus, the theory has to be followed. Next, uh, the next one is to inform the application of instructional design through the models. Obviously, the theory, the learning theory informs the application, like how we can use, how we can implement it, all those things through the models. So that we discuss when we study these things separately, learning theories or instructional design theories separately in the coming models. Uh, next, types of learning theories, okay, types of learning theories. So here are some learning theories that we are following. Okay. So there are, uh, we are following the, the types of learning theories. One is in behaviorist learning theories, what we are uh, following, what cognitive learning theory is used, what social learning theory is used. Okay. Now coming to the first one in behavior, uh, behaviorist learning theories, it occurs through the behavioral response. Okay. For example, uh, if we are surrounding, if you are having some 20 to 30 learners, okay, and how effectively the people are behaving in those learning experience or learning process, okay, and sometimes the some learnings will be made in the the physically physical learnings, like in the classroom kind of learnings. How well they are behaving? Are they responding to each and everything? Are they effectively involved in the trainings? So the behavioral observations will be made. Then the foundation of this theory is built upon assumptions that they have little regard for the cognitive process of learners involved in the task. Okay. So it will be like assumption. For example, I can say that, yeah, the Pujita is expertise in this area. She may, she may not be. Okay, that completely on my assumption. Now coming to the cognitive learning theory, it suggests that learner is an active participant in the process. First point, second one, it believes that when learning something new, the individuals process and uh, construct their own understanding of topic based upon the past experience and the knowledge. This is a second uh, theory, like the cognitive learning, what happens? How effectively I'm involving myself? See, today I've learned this one. So is there anything out of this one? How actively he is participating? These things will help us uh, in a cognitive learning phase. Okay. Now, social learning theory. 
it emphasizes the importance of observing and modeling the behaviors attitudes and emotional reactions of their explain the hu human behavior in the terms of continuous reciprocal interaction between the cognitive behavioral and environmental issues now these are the three learning models can anyone help me out where we can implement these things where we can like which kind of content or which kind of topics will be covered under social learning theories management i'll take if i take the the topic itself like uh, the posh how we how i should behave with an women in the organization yeah, communication yeah. body language you can yeah. see that importance of observing modeling more, behavior and attitudes emotion reaction emotional reactions of others so this kind of learning theories will be imposed or implemented in that way in that areas understood how i should be behave in my team behavioral mm. training okay these are the thing like it suggests that learner is an active participant in the process now where you will implement this can you tell me the areas social learning you got no in which yeah. areas we like as i said no posh sexual harassment all those things areas that will be very much like i give some scenarios you observe it behave like how he is behaving on that kind of things how he is reacting on that one that will be applied cognitive learning active participation means i have some basic knowledge when these things comes i can use my knowledge on that one my previous experience data science data management okay something comes about the uh, the data representation mm. those things and when it comes to the behavioral uh, behaviorist learning so obviously it related to environment again these will be into the focusing towards the higher people like to the manager levels like le leaders for them it will be very much helpful yeah the social learning at each and every person each and every organization every phase every one in the organization they have to be uh, is implemented for those kind of learners